Well, hello. This is Egghead. Now, this is actually John. I'm actually here in Sierra Vista. And uh, it's the first really full day I've had outside to uh, even up my tan line after my haircut. Uh, I was in the hospital uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Got out yesterday. Uh, once again, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate this very, very, very cool woman I met last year at work. Her name is Maggie Martinez, and she's really been... Uh, very gracious in spending time and, and uh, her actually some some money even <laughs> don't worry I'll pay her back for that to uh, for the gas and everything to get me around for all the appointments I can't drive to I, I have to have a driver some of these things to actually show up uh, Tuesday morning after the kiss concert tomorrow night uh, in the TDS resort uh, I'm going to spend pretty much the whole day undergoing three procedures. I think two of them require sedation. So that's, that's okay. Uh, so here we are in Sierra Vista. I just cannot say how much I love this place. So I'm going to take the camera off me and just show you around here a little bit. This is actually called Veterans Park. There we go. Out to where I'm looking at. Not to be confused with Veteran Cemetery. This is just a wonderful town to live in. Now, when you think of Southern Arizona, what do you think of, right? You think of those ridiculous porcupine plants that called called cactus, which I personally cannot stand. It's a lot of fun hiking in Marana area, but you really have to get up to Mount Lemon in Pima County to get above those things. But here we are in Sierra Vista. None of that here. This is actually. It's a normal American beautiful town that I just fell in love with uh, about three years ago, the first time I came down here to run p payroll checks down to a place that used to be by where the CVS is now. Just can't say enough good things about this place. There is a pool here. Uh, I can't wait. They call it the Aqua Center or something. But the pool... Is closed on Sundays, which is kind of bad for people who want to try to get baptized on a Sunday without using the kitchen sink. But it's just a wonderful town. I just can't say enough about it. I guess here they're lining up with the 4th of July they're going to have here. It's going to be a big one. Unfortunately, I will be in... Uh, well, fortunately, actually, I'll be in Pima County enjoying the KISS concert. Been trying for a couple days to get... It all together with the organizers and promoters in the venue for uh, for Kiss to interview me. But there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, what's the word I want to use? There's a lot more uh, friction, I guess, this time. First of all, because of the venue, I've had problems with them in the past with Peter Frampton and, and Cheap Trick. Second of all, the group would love to do it. They've always supported the military. Uh, I'd like to do it in their hotel or something and not catch them in makeup at all anyway because I've always been the very rare guy who doesn't like them so much in the makeup as I did when they just got out there in the hot in the shade tour and just rocked it. Uh, the blowback is coming from the, the people who are trying to, to get uh, $1,200 for uh, what they call, you know, access or VIP access, whatever, just to get close to the band. And it's felt that it's not fair to those people expected to pay that price for some guy, retired Navy out of Sierra Vista, just to show up with the microphone and interview these guys out of the blue. Like, actually, I did in Tampa back in 2008, believe it or not. So, or was that 2009? I think it was 2008. Uh, so that, that's probably not going to happen, but I'm still going to go to the show try anyway and we'll see where that goes and uh other than that i've had a really great, great bucket list you know i told you this long ago i uh, started with william shatner went on to uh lee majors and lindsey wagner from the bionic duo fame uh <laughs> went to uh astronauts that walked on the moon charlie duke who actually prayed over me about my cancer and so far it seems to be working uh Nicole Stott, an old Clearwater neighbor who's a wonderful person. Uh, 
now retired with NASA, but don't give up the idea she may fly again in some other vehicle in the future. But uh, just all those astronauts, my friend Robert Brand, Lucy West, everybody that came together, many I had known before. Some of the astronauts had passed, and some, some of the new ones were in for the first time. And it was just great to see them all. And uh, to top it off, we had uh, the chance, anyway, to to uh, do the grand tour with Kiss, but it looks like that's not going to happen at this point, but that's okay. Like I said, don't ever, ever feel sorry for me because I have lived more in a day than most people do in a lifetime. I really have. Uh, my my adopted daughter, <laughs> Tara, from one of my two, by the way, uh, she's bugging me about how I always make everything political about my cancer because I just happened to joke today that I realized that since I shaved my hair, I have a uh, high cheekbone, so obviously uh, Elizabeth Warren must be my cousin, and I must be a Native American. And uh, I just refuse not to have fun with this because really, what's the alternative? You know, it, it will get you nowhere to worry. It will get you nowhere to uh, even be sad because I'm not. Believe me, I'm having the time of my life, and this is just a minor setback. I'm more convinced than ever. That by next February or so, I'm going to be back to my 60 mile an hour wind sprint, uh, jumping to the roofs of buildings and everything else that I've done before. Uh, but I am going to document very well this experience because it's something that I both want to share with the people that are going through cancer that maybe have a pessimistic view, as well as the, uh, the family members who think it's all gloom and doom because I just want to be the first to show you live and in living color it's not all gloom and doom as a matter of fact it really kind of forces you to open your eyes and realize your priorities uh, figure out what the good things are you want in your life what the junk is you want out of your life and uh, it really does obviously give you a lot of opportunities to really know who your friends are and once again I just can't say enough about, about Maggie uh, there's any good-looking men out there looking for the best woman on earth they could ever find. I can think of only two right now that I'd like to put to the top of your list who appear to be available. <laughs> one's Maggie and the other one's Evelyn Garcia. You guys know I think the world of both of them. Um, it's just, I think it's their choice that these girls are both of the caliber. They can just walk around and say, oh, I'll take, let me, let me choose from these 50 and I'll pick that one, you know. They can really have anything they want to, but for whatever reason, uh, they're happy where they are. And I'm glad that that gives them some time uh, to spend uh, caring for the less fortunate, which temporarily is me. But maybe, just maybe, I'm the luckiest guy of all here. God bless.